and maybe that'll teach you a lesson for sneaking up on people, all right? You think I wanted, oh God, you got a friend. God, the sun sets so quick. No, I don't think so, big man. Fire axe, fire axe, fire axe. Uh-huh, I got a new toy. That's what you get right there. Trying to find another bunker that's on the map. Uh, and I'm pretty close, but I think I have stumbled upon a cannibal camp. Although now it's pitch black, I have no idea. Let me take a look at my map. Yeah, I want to head in this direction to get to that uh, that bunker. I was hoping to get there before nightfall, but I didn't quite make it. Yes, yes, I hear you. Oh, this is a camp. Is this a camp? What is this? Oh, it's not a camp at all. What is this? Looks like we have a bunch of dead um, cultists. You will find meaning in life again. Well, thank you. That's uplifting. Looks like we're going to have to just keep going at nighttime here. Oh, God. Shut up. I hear you. Oh, God. This is a camp. I did find a camp. Okay. Uh, last time we went to a camp at nighttime, it was disastrous. Uh, but maybe. Oh, someone just throw a spear at me. Who did it? Watch yourself, Virginia. I do not see the spear thrower anywhere. Uh, what I'm hoping for is just some quick supplies. So we'll get out of here. What's in this crate? Uh, nothing that good, really. And what kind of tribe doesn't have rope? Oh, there's some rope. Hey, there's a spear in me. Who did it? Where is the spear thrower at? There you are. Fire axe. I got to take some medicine right now. Oh, well, it's a full moon. That's pretty. I was hoping to find some more rope around here. Let's see what we can get. I put on one piece of armor. Yeah, I can make another piece of armor if I get some more bones. That's where you come in, friend. Can I just throw you on that fire? Will that work? Will that burn you? Is that a real fire? The fire went out. Are you kidding me? Okay, I got to make a fire and burn this dude. And maybe this dude. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And then in you go. Right there. And let's not forget about you. And you're in the fire. Okay. I thought I heard a radio over here somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. The plan today is simple. Find the maintenance bunker I'm looking for. I think it's maintenance bunker two or something like that. And then, since the maintenance bunkers are such a quick little experience... I'm thinking we go into a cave today. Fit it all in in one video. Might be a long one. So buckle in. According to my GPS, it should be straight in front of me here. Uh, still a little ways to go. Ooh. Here, a helicopter. Wait, is it taking off? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, it just took off. Oh, he was at the maintenance bunker I'm going to, I think. Who is in that helicopter? That's the second time we've seen it. Oh, well, no time to waste. I want to get down here safely, but I might have to deploy the old hang glider. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> now it deploys. Good. That's helpful. What is this helicopter doing? Oh, there's tents here. Look at this. Where'd it go? Yeah, it definitely just took off from here. Wow. Look at this place. Hello. You dead? Yeah, you're definitely dead. What are you? Oh, you're a mutant. And what is this? Okay, we got a crossbow bolt. Medicine. That's good. Seem to be going through that a lot today. And some more C4 bricks. What is this thing? A silencer. Hey, look at this. All the arrows. Maybe I should pull out my flashlight, make it a little easier for everybody to see at home. My bad. Uh, yeah, we just got a bunch of stuff in here. This is a really good tent. Let's see if that silencer fits the pistol. I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't. Let's put that there. Let's put that on the mat and combine the two. Yes, a silenced pistol. Now it's fully kitted out. Unless we can get like an extended mag and a stock for this thing. Well, 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 we are locked and loaded, ladies and gentlemen. What else is around here? This is awesome. A GPS locator. There's a pot here. Um, some rocks and sticks. Oh, my God. What's in this tent? Wait a minute. What's on the outside of the tent? Buckshot ammo. So I haven't found this shotgun yet. I think we get that a little bit later on in one of the actual... Uh, underground bunkers we have to dig a hole to get to this i thought was going to be an underground bunker it appears not to be at all oh we got a new outfit what is this one this has pretty much half of a bar for warmth and for comfort whereas the tuxedo has more comfort but less warmth i think i'll uh, continue to wear the tuxedo for now and then eventually i'll put that hoodie on when it turns winter time well it looks like we've got some ammo here rifle and there's a rifle we got lore we did detect an unusual burst seven months ago 
Readings were similar to what we could see in a brief dimensional switch. I'm sorry, what now? We did detect an unusual burst seven months ago. Readings were similar to what we would see in a brief dimensional switch. What is that light? Oh God, oh God, the cannibals are here. Uh, just so we're, can I please have one of these? Oh my God, there's uh, what are these things called again? Drones, there's drones. You can't pick them up though. Uh, a dimensional switch? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Gonna shoot somebody. Someone's getting shot. Yeah, silenced. Silent but deadly. Stay down. Okay, you're getting back up, huh? There you go. One down. Nobody's got time for this. I just want to check out the area, see what we've got here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's right, those are 9 millimeter bullets. You should be dead. Or at least in a lot more pain than you're pretending not to be in. I know this hurts. Oh, I gotta shoot his armor off first. That's the problem. Now that was a chest shot. What are you made of? He's gone. He is gone. He has had enough of the bullets. Ah, someone snuck up on me. Yeah, You're dead. Let it set in. Let the bullets take you. Well, I guess this area is clear. I just want to check around the backside of these tents to make sure I didn't miss any loot. But I assume I've got everything here. I don't know. It's nighttime after all. It's really hard to see. We're going to actually end up going back to the little bunker that we found that had the 3D printer in it. The first 3D printer. Um, because we did get the maintenance key card in the last bunker we went into and i think we can go further in that first 3d printer bunker that we found now that we have the key card it's the flashing dot on the map it is far away and it is nighttime this seems really stupid maybe i should create a little tent and sleep till the morning nah we'll just go for it i'm going for it and by go for it i do in fact mean hang glide my way there safely okay because i'm not walking through this forest at nighttime that's not happening yeah, this is more like it. We'll be there in no time now. All right, beginning descent. I can't see. There's a lot of trees in front of me, and I'm probably going to hit one and crash to the ground, but this is where I need to be, so we're going down. Yeah, okay. We're good. Where's my uh, glider? There you are. All right, the bunker should be right in front of me here somewhere in the darkness. There you are. All right, let's squeeze in here. So when I said we're going to be doing a bunker in a cave today, this is what I meant by cave. It's not really a cave, it's a bunker. We're doing a bunker in a bunker, and the first bunker wasn't a bunker either. That was just some tents. So what I meant to say at the beginning is, hey, we're going to do some tents today, and then we're going into a bunker. And that's where we're at right now, in the bunker. So the stuff in here does respawn, but the stuff outside does not respawn. So if I want unlimited arrows and it looks like tape, printer resin, and light bulbs... This is the place to go. I would go to sleep, but it looks like my energy is just fine. Do I need any supplies while I'm here? Let's see. A flask, no. A mask, no. Grappling hooks, no. Tech mesh, no. Sled, no. GPS, no. Arrows? Sure. Let's make some arrows. I wonder how many it'll print out for us. Oh, it looks like a bundle of five. Not bad. Thank you. That is mighty convenient. So we never went this way. I told you the first time we found this bunker that we're currently in that if I go this way, I'm going to need a key card. And I didn't have the key card yet, but I got it on the last episode. So as you can see, this is definitely a facility. There is more than meets the eye with this island, if you haven't figured that out yet. Got a watch there. What do we have down here? Some money, another watch. And then the door that requires the key card, which I hope we have the right one for this. Let's see. Yeah. Here we go. Look at this. Big old exercise room for the guests. So this island is definitely a resort, but is it a cover for something more nefarious? And my best guess would be absolutely yes, it is. Um, I see something straight ahead of me. It looks like just a normal mutant. I could probably take him with my fire axe. There's one way over there as well. Let's get this one first. Where are you running to? Huh? Fire axe. It's new. It's my new toy. Well, that dispatches of them really quickly so long as I have the energy to swing it. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Wait, I came from that room. What is this way? Oh, a pool. I don't think there's anything in here, though. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah there is. Little flesh eagles. Get them. Yeah. Are there any supplies in here? Uh, yeah, an energy drink. That'll come in handy if I get tired. Oh, there's lore in here. And we've got ourselves another outfit. I am pretty sure I just picked up a tracksuit. Where is it? Well, it says I have a tracksuit, but I'm guessing I can't wear it because it's not here. Interesting. So maybe that's one that I can give Virginia. Guess we'll find out when we get out of here. But I definitely picked it up. It is no longer there. I found a note. Hi, Doris. I saw on the list that you and your family have arrived. Let me know if you have time for a drink. We have lots to catch up on. Barb. Yeah, we didn't really learn anything from that note, but we did get quite a few energy drinks in this room. Which I am cool with. There is something that's definitely a person encapsulated in this gelatin stuff. Gross. Let's just leave him. It's definitely too late for him. Okay, where were we? We came from that way. We have cleared this room. Let's go into the next room. And there is definitely one mutant, two mutants, two mutants in this room. Perhaps I can hit him with arrows. Oh, I did. I actually hit something with an arrow from, from a considerable distance away. That's pretty awesome of me. Yeah. Oh, I got him again. And again. Die already. You're not going to die, huh? Oh, there you Oh, that was in your face. You want some too? Uh-oh. There's another one coming in kind of hot. Let's take the axe back out. Okay. All right. My turn. Yeah, I gotta be careful. I don't have any armor today. Like, I just don't have the supplies to really make any armor. I've got one piece on them. Hopefully, we'll find a lot of rope at some point. But right now, rope is scarce. And if I'm not mistaken, in the forest, you were able to make rope with cloth. But it doesn't seem to be a recipe in this game. So unless there's another recipe for rope, which I am unfamiliar with, I think we have to find all of our rope. You know what we could do, though, now that I'm thinking about it? On the last episode, we did make ourselves the soup. This is boiled meat, which should give us a strength bonus. And yeah, it has given us a strength bonus. So hopefully I can like kill things faster now with my ax. Oh, look at what we have here. If it isn't to fingers, I guess we're gonna test out our strength bonus right now. Let me get him in the leg first. Okay, let me get him in the leg first. There we go. And then we run up with the ax. Strength bonus, strength bonus. Uh, well, he's dead. That worked. I think I hit him three, maybe four times. So that, I think we were stronger. Anything on this desk that might be important? Some lore. Edward Pufton. On the cover of C-Class Magazine. I'll take your mutant armor, though. And I will wear your creepy armor. Okay, so uh, we have got ourselves this way to go or this way to go. It might just all loop around, so let's just go left. It's my favorite way to go. What is this thing? It's like a deprivation chamber, I think. Wow, you guys are fancy inside of here. Uh, looks like it's a dead end this way. Yep, wait, did I just see something? A rag, okay. All right, yeah, not a lot here. So let's go back behind the desk. More deprivation chambers. Dead dude. Oh, definitely a way to go that way this way through the doors oh my god it's twins how do i how do i open the door does <laughs> open the door <clears throat> okay let me go to the other door yeah this one's open for me all right we're gonna have to take these dudes out and i know just the way to do it only question is where did you go oh you're under the stairs let me just throw that at you see if you like that huh I think they're stuck under the stairs, actually. That's perfect. Yeah, they didn't like that. Yeah, they're dead now. That one axe hit did it with my strength bonus after throwing a giant bomb at them. Oh, God, there's something climbing on the wall back here. They're behind glass, though. You can't, it's like a zoo. Did you guys come from a different dimension? Because I found a memo talking about another dimension. Plus, I found a book that had the title... Something to do with dimensions. You guys open a portal to a different dimension? You crazy bastard Puftons? Is that what you did? I think that's what they did. Let's put on that mutant armor we just forgot. There we go. We're starting to get a little stronger now. 
All right, I don't think I can go through this glass. Let me check this room. There could be some cool stuff around. Let's see what we've got. So far, there is absolutely nothing cool about this room at all. Yeah, just pamphlets everywhere. Ooh, what's this one say? This one says Flying Ladies Circus. Is that Virginia? But with only two arms and two legs before she was mutated? Puffton's have her doing entertainment? And then something horrible happened to her? I'm not sure. Kind of looks like Virginia. Maybe, uh, maybe Virginia was an acrobat before a terrible tragedy. But who knows what happened to her? I don't know. She's got three arms and legs now. She could be one hell of an acrobat now. Let's go up these stairs. I think it's the only way to go. This is such a cool bar. Look at this. Oh, I hear something. I definitely hear. We're not alone. Where is it? What is it? Oh, jeez. Where were you at this whole time? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Come on and get some. My turn. Oh, you got me a little bit. No, oh, you got me again. Stop getting me. Oh, my turn to get you. Oh, I'm out of energy. Yeah, yeah, ah, gotcha. Okay, all right, we're fine. Yeah, look at this bar. You got to get in the water and you're like, hey, bartender, I'll have a rum and coke, please. Uh, with a twist of lim lime and lime and lime and that's a word, not Lyman. That's definitely not a word. All these people are dead. Guess the mutants got in the bunker somehow. My question is this, like, you build this fancy resort and then did something bad happen? Or did you come to this island knowing that there were cannibals everywhere and built a resort anyways? And then also, do your guests know that there's cannibals everywhere? Never mind the mutants for right now. Let's just talk about the indigenous tribe folk of this island that are clearly cannibals and want to kill you at every turn. Like, was that just, that wasn't a deal breaker with the insurance companies? I mean, how did you get this place insured? I've got so many questions. And then clearly something happened at some point uh, where everybody got dead somehow by mutants that now exist. Oh, hello, can we use my key card here? No, we don't have the proper one for this door. Okay, let's keep it moving then. Oh, nice, the club. Oh, hello? Oh, God. What? Oh, there's a guitar shoved down his esophagus. <laughs> Holy shit. That's not good. Were you making it rain? Give me all this. Thank you. Oh, I found something. Bad pivot, squeaky shoes. It's a record. Note to all employees, Mr. Puffton desires all digital communication to be printed out. Do not leave digital copies of your communications on any devices and discard of all communications when done with them. Sincerely, Barbara Puffton. So they don't want a paper trail, huh? Yeah, put that put that record down. We're done with that. Thank you. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they want any kind of uh, records of any kind that can be compromised. Lots of money. Man, look at what was going on here. Shady freaking club deals. Good, we can make some Molotovs now, though. And that makes sense, because we are in a bar. I should be finding lots of... What is this? I'm going to eat it, whatever it is. We must eat it to figure out what it is. Let's put that in my mouth. Uh-huh. And what was it? <laughs> what are you? You are a bacon bite. Oh, good. You can always count on bacon to cheer me up. Oh, a guitar. What do we need this for? Yeah. All right. I got a little bit of skill. Okay. This is a weapon. <laughs> Question begs though, which is stronger? Oh, it's not very strong at all. It is a fast swinging weapon. So if you just want to spam and try to stun lock, this would be a good weapon for that, but not a lot of damage. Surprisingly though, I didn't think you'd be able to swing this very fast. And that doesn't seem very fast to be honest. Now we're definitely going to be sticking with the fire ax because we know it packs a punch. What else do we have around here? Money, more bacon bites. Oh, I can't carry anymore. What do you mean? Oh, it's because I have food on me. Well, I could use a bite to eat right now. Have some of that dried meat. Wash it down with a soda. And now you give me those bacon bites. Oh, really? You still can't carry the bacon bites. Can only carry two bacon bites at a time? This is a world I don't want to live in. Okay, but the good news, and I mean the really good news, is I can make a whole lot of Molotovs. Five to be exact. I think we're done with this room. Just wanna make sure there's no lore that we're missing. I am what they call a lore whore. I must have it. I must read about it. I must learn. Aha, more lore. 
Oh, look at this. It's an official map. It shows us where the VIP bunker is, the reg residential bunker. It looks like an entertainment bunker, culinary bunker, maintenance, helipad, golf course, and I don't know. I guess that's a runway where the airplane is. Sweet. So we have some more points of interest that we can go discover now. That is a handy dandy piece of information right there. Uh-oh. More dead people. Lots. Oh, key card. Which one is this? Guest key card collected. I wonder if we can get in that door that we couldn't get in before. We might have to backtrack and check it out. In fact, we absolutely have to backtrack and check it out because dead end. There's no way I can move that. Even though I can cut down trees in about five swings and build an entire cabin. There's no way we can shove that out of the way. All right. Today was a good day. I don't think that it was. Ask that guy over there. It wasn't. It was a terrible day. All right, Arnold Crand. Let's see if you can get me in here. Do you have the clearance? You do. Uh, mutants? Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. You're next. Uh-uh. Don't try to run out of the room. No one escapes. Gotcha. Got them both. All right. Oh, there's a third. Arrow. 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 3D printed arrow. Missed. 3D printed arrow. Definitely missed. Oh, wow. Those have a lot more velocity. I don't think I have to aim up as high with those, which is why the first two went flying over his head. Cool. So the arrows actually affect the travel accuracy. So I guess when we did our little test in the last episode, no way I was going to get conclusive results. We just need a better bow. We've got good arrows now. Now we just need a better bow. Looks like it's about to get dark again. Flashlight at the ready. Oh, yeah. I don't like it in here. Uh-huh. I see you walking over there. What you gonna do, fingers? Leg shot. Okay, missed. Leg shot. Definitely got you. Here comes the axe. I don't have my strength bonus anymore, though. I gotta take some more soup in a second. We got him. You know, that seemed like the same amount of hits without the strength bonus as it was with the strength bonus. So what does the strength bonus do? I wonder if it's a thing where you don't get as tired as quickly? Eh, I don't know, that doesn't seem right either. All right, let's see what we've got in here. Either way, I did eat some more of that stew. Let's get this, and what do we have here? This is how we solve the countdown. We have exactly three weeks to the next activation. Uh-huh, and then there's some sort of language that we don't know that uh, each of these symbols equate to numbers. This could be a key that we'll have to use to solve something later, so definitely good to hang on to that. Then if we take a look at this, which we found earlier, we did detect an unusual burst seven months ago. Readings were similar to what we could see in a brief dimensional switch. It seems like it's like a satellite image of the island we're probably currently on right now. So maybe every seven months, something happens on this island or seven months and three weeks. Well, we got three weeks to figure it out, I guess. Okay, here's something back here. Oh, it's the like a TV screen, projector screen over here. Oh, babies, babies must eradicate. Zero prejudice. Okay, babies are dead. Hey guy, oh my God, do you have a chainsaw? He has a chainsaw. Hey, look, it's Barbara Puffton. I found her. She was on the screen. Okay, so the chainsaw is electric. It runs on batteries. Good to know. We won't waste it. But maybe if I see something, I'll kill it with the chainsaw at least one time. We got to test it out, right? See if it's a good killing machine. It should be fantastic at killing. It's a chainsaw. And if for some reason you didn't think we weren't going to watch this, surprise, we're watching this. Maybe it'll give us some insight. A safe underground community for a select few. Built by visionary billionaire Edward Puffton, Paula Springs offers unparalleled comfort and luxury. The island is rich in a special material known as solophyte. This material contains unique anti-aging properties. Ancient texts describe a cube constructed from this material. According to these texts, the cube activates at specific, previously unknown intervals. Recently, our researchers have deciphered its activation cycle and anticipate the activation will amplify the youth-giving properties of the solophyte. 
Reset your body and yourself. Time is running out. Book your place now. Hollow Springs, timeless luxury, timeless youth. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting to get my answer so quickly. We know exactly what's going on around here. A bunch of rich people are trying to beat Father Time using the Solophyte and that golden cube, or the Solophyte cube, which activates. So I guess we have three more weeks till that activates. And it'll enrich the properties of the Solophyte, which is supposed to make you younger. Okay. Well, what happened exactly? Because uh, <laughs> this did not go to plan, as you can see from the guts on the floor. We do have a door this way. We should probably check it out. What is that, an arrow in the wall? Oh, that's one of the arrows I missed my shot from earlier. Okay. Well, that is really cool. I'm glad we got some... Uh, oh, God, what's happening? You kill it! Shoot it! Hey, bud. Who are you? Not safe here. You're running out of time. It's gonna happen. Look at your hand! Oh, it's, T it's Timmy! It's Timmy from the forest. We know he's part mutant. We saw that at the end of the forest. So that was definitely Timmy. He's also the author of a book about this island, or the one about dimensional rifts. Um, yeah, he's killing stuff for us. That's cool. Timmy? Where did he go? He said we're running out of time? It's gonna happen again? I was kind of yapping when he was talking. I wasn't expecting that, so... We missed a little bit of what he said, but I'm pretty sure he said we're running out of time. Something's gonna happen again. Which may coincide with this countdown. Yeah. Get your little baby jumping ass over here. Yeah, gotcha. You have been gotten. Oh yeah, this is a cave rich in solophyte. Look at the S. We got a left. We got a right. We go left. I love how the batteries automatically change. Like I haven't had to put a battery in this flashlight, yet I'm going through batteries. It just changes when it gets super low. Um, I wonder if this looped around. I think that it might have. So I don't think we've missed anything. Let me just double check. Yep, that was just a circle. Okay. This might be my favorite episode so far. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it as much as I am, but we're learning stuff, which is really cool. Drop a like on the video. Just a friendly reminder. I appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Right, we got some bones here, some skulls. Can't carry any more of that. I wonder if we're on our way out of here. We may have completed this bunker. Yeah, I think we're out of here. Yeah. Now, is Virginia around? Virginia, I got an outfit I want you to try on. Where did you? Oh, we're right next to home. Holy crap, I can just walk home. Ha, <laughs> who knew this was this close to my house this whole time? Wow. I mean, that is right there. Okay. <laughs> oh, good. The dirt grew back. That's how that works. At least we don't have a smelly open grave in front of our house anymore. Do you guys remember this blueprint that we found? I kind of want to make this cross. I don't know if it's just going to illuminate the area or if it's going to scare away cannibals or what. It's not a trap. It doesn't say it's a trap. I'm just going to make it. We'll put it out front, I guess. Maybe I could put it on the roof. See if I can get up on my roof. Yeah, I can get up on my roof. Is this going to hurt? Please don't hurt. Don't hurt. Don't hurt. Ow. It totally hurt. And I didn't make it up on the roof. I think I'll just put it out front just in case it does just illuminate. Um... At least we'll have kind of like a spotlight out in the front yard. At nighttime, I'll be able to see what's going on out here. So we will just uh, put it here. And then I should probably turn it and face it outward like that. And maybe bring it in just a little bit. And uh, are we centered? I kind of like things centered here. Let's just stand here. Do this right there. Yeah, that seems good. Uh-oh. We've got cannibals. What you doing? What you doing? Oh, I missed. Oh, she's one of these fancy ninja cannibals. Well, come on. Come on. Stop. Yeah, that's what you get. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You're crying? That is unbecoming of a ninja cannibal. And that's what you get for even coming around here. Let that be a lesson to you. Hey, Virginia, I've got stuff for you, I think. Yeah, I've got a tracksuit. You want to wear this? There you go. Look at you, huh? Look at you in your fancy tracksuit. Also, I could give Virginia my pistol, and she will shoot cannibals. And she doesn't go through ammo. It's just kind of unlimited ammo for her. And she doesn't really miss shots. She's really good with it. But I think I'll hold off on that until I get a shotgun. That way, at least I have one firearm. And then she can have the other one. Let me see how you look. Go ahead. Turn around for me. All right. You gonna eat some dirt? All right. Are you eating her arm? That's disturbing. Oh, yeah. You ate it. All right. Well, I hope you enjoy your new suit. Just... There you go. Calvin, we need to talk about Virginia. She's not well. All right, I need a log. 
I need a couple of logs, some wires. I've got the wires and light bulbs on me, I guess. I just need some logs. And then we'll just put that in there like that. And then uh, do that. And there we go. Okay, got plenty of spare here for firewood. Then we'll put in the wires. And I got to go get one more wire off the shelf. Uh, okay, hold on. Hope I have some more wires on the shelf. I don't have any wires on the shelf. Are you kidding me? But I wonder, can I just maybe, can I take one of these wires back? Yes, I can. Okay. And then put it on here. And then we'll do all these light bulbs. And you should work. Oh, one more light bulb. Hold on. Let there be light. Okay. Nothing happened. Praise Jesus. How does this work? How do you work? Uh, do you need a battery? I should have a bunch of batteries. Yeah, I have a battery. Can I just plop you down somewhere? Like, like here? Is that not gonna work? That's not gonna work. All right, hold on. Maybe we'll do like a solar panel. Uh, you are absolutely and 100% in the way. Get out of the way. All right, we'll put the solar panel there. Then we'll put the battery attached to it. And I stole another piece of wire from my electric fence. And then we'll attach it to you. And let there be light. Ha! Wow, okay, it's bright, and that looks really cool because it's super, like, washed out or whatever. But, man, it does not illuminate a big area, but <laughs> that does look cool, not gonna lie. Wow, I wonder, I wonder how the cannibals are gonna react to this. That's pretty neat. I'm gonna have to clean this whole thing up. I need to put the solar panels behind the perimeter fence, both for the electric fence and for this cross. And then I just need to run wires out to these things because I'm pretty sure a cannibal can just break this with one swing of a club or something so yeah i'm gonna have to kind of rework this but i do like it maybe i should put it inside no i'm leaving it right there that just looks too cool that looks too cool actually that brightens up the front a good bit when you combine it with the torches if there's a bunch of cannibals out front surely we'll see what's going on now oh it looks even cooler from behind man that is a cool cross well, guys, I think that's going to do it for today's video. We ran across Timmy LeBlanc, of all people, on this island, and he gave us a warning. We're running out of time. We also figured out what this island's purpose is, the ties it has to Solophyte. What we still haven't figured out is where all these mutants have come from. That'll just have to be a mystery for another day. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And as always, it's been your boy, Lagan24. And I will see you uh, next time.